What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie. Got it. Got to say a classic Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that one, but it's it's a classic. Your your favorite music? Um, I mean, the Beatles. Mm -hmm. I think if I if I had to choose, and no matter like like throughout my life, I don't I don't I think like no matter who my favorite artists are now or mm -hmm. next year or last year, whatever like the Beatles will always remain the <laughs> the favorite underneath. Mm -hmm. And your favorite food? My favorite food. Um, noodle soup. Okay. I love noodle soup with tofu. <laughs> okay. It's very good. And TV show? Um, I just finished watching Barry again. Mm hmm mm. Bomb show. Very, very good show. Um, yeah, right now I've just been thinking a lot about that one, but, you know, The Office and The Office. Mm-hmm. Uh, your favorite book? Oh, girl, <laughs> I'm not the girl to ask who, what my favorite book is. Uh, really, one of the only books I've ever read <laughs> was called The Perfect Pony okay. when I was like 10. <laughs> and uh, and then I also read a book called A Perfect Pony. Mm -hmm. I like horses yeah. and I always Pony. have. And the only thing that's going to get me to read a book is it being about a horse. Okay. So. <laughs> horses on both songs you talk a lot about relationships and loves and mm -hmm. kind of things so what's your vision of love and what's love for you now that you're, that you're 21 what's love for me um what is love for me um i would just say like safety mm -hmm. and like not not feeling just never feeling afraid and never feeling like you know nervous or like walking on eggshells around somebody i think i think you should feel very free and like able to be yourself and and really with all relationships not not romantically necessarily mm -hmm. but romantically friendships you know platonically whatever um i think it's i don't know i i, I don't know it's like hard to describe what love is i don't know i guess unconditional and just but there's like lots of different versions of love. Wow, I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, wish I had a better answer. <laughs> but <laughs> there you go. It's a great answer. And your brother, he's a huge part of your career. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a little bit about him? What it means to you to work with him since the beginning? Well, Phineas is, I mean, he, he really is like my best friend when we get down to it. I think like, you know, no matter who is in my life and, you know, who I'm friends with, my brother will always remain like number one best friend. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll I think it'll stay like that. I don't see us ever, ever drifting apart. I think like, you know, as as siblings do and people do, you go through phases of changing and um, needing some space from each other, you know, no matter what what the circumstance. And I think no matter what happens to us and what phases we go through, I think we'll always remain. Mm -hmm. We'll come right back together and it'll be as good as it always was, which it, it has done so far. Um, and getting to have him be my, you know, partner in crime and all of this has just been such a, like, blessing. It's mm -hmm. it's really, really, I mean, you don't get to do that, you know? And, and also, along with that goes, like, doing everything with my parents. You know, I've done everything with my mom and almost everything with my dad as much as I, you know, since I could. And, you know, we, we now we do everything together, all four of us, pretty much. And it's just like, it's really special. And I know I know that it won't necessarily always be like that. And so I feel like I, I've been trying to really appreciate it for, for what it is and having that right now. And um, it's really special. It's really, really special. And I just have such a good relationship with my family, my parents, my brother. And um, it's I'm just like so grateful for it. I mean. They're, they're all my closest friends, 
Mm-hmm. So. And you have a song called Billy Bossa Nova. Mm-hmm. So when did you have knowledge about this rhythm, Brazilian rhythm? <laughs> and how it touches you? I mean, it touches me. It does anything. Um, I feel like my first real... I don't know. I, I feel like I, I, I really... It's always been a sound that I've been drawn to, but I never really knew what it actually was mm-hmm. until I want to say I was about 13, maybe just turned 14. And I remember working with a some producer. It was like one of the first sessions I was ever put in. And he was showing us like music on YouTube and he pulled up some, some video and he was like, this is Bossa Nova. You know anything about Bossa Nova? And I was like, wait, what is that again? And, and he kind of explained it to me and I, I was like, Oh, that's what that's called. I love that stuff. Oh my God, like give me more of it. And um, kind of from then on, like being aware of it, you know, because you can love something without knowing what the hell you love yeah. about it. And then when someone points it out, it's it makes a, your future a lot easier because then you can be like, oh, right. Okay, so that's what I love. So I'm going to go look for that. So mm-hmm. from then on, really just like Bossa Nova has just been, I just love it so much. And that song, I just, it's kind of like an ode to, to Bossa Nova. I just love it so much and I just wanted to, 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 sh- I don't know. I, I, I almost didn't name it that though because I just didn't want to like, I didn't want to like claim anything. I just mm-hmm. was like a fan. I'm just a really big fan of nice. Brazilian music and I, and that's, that's my shit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and it's your first time here in Brazil. So what are your expectations? The fans were really excited about you here. So I mean, my expectations are high. So. <laughs> That's always a, a recipe for disaster, but I don't think it'll be a disaster. I think it'll be good. I think, um, I mean, I've for, for since the beginning, I've been told that Brazil is where it's at. And I've, I mean, I've, I know that. I feel like, you know, all my first, all my first fans were, were Brazilian fans and first fan account was Billie Eilish Brazil. And um, yeah, I was just saying like some the first comments I ever got that weren't like from my friends was like, come to Brazil. and. I came to Brazil. <laughs> Here I am. I'm super excited. Nice. And I don't know if you know it, Caetano Veloso, where he's a... Right. Yeah. And he wrote a song and he quotes you and your brother. Yeah. And he talks about the start of your career, like composing in your mm-hmm. bedroom, in your house. So how does it feel for you to be quoted for him? And uh, uh, thinking about the beginning and now where you are, so... I mean, it's amazing. I feel so relevant. <laughs> so cool. I mean, you know, specifically like like, especially being quoted in a song by anyone is like such an honor. And especially when it's like completely a different world, I feel like it's even more of an honor. You know, I just it's funny that he even knows I exist. And and um, that's just really cool that mm-hmm. I that I have impact in more than just my own you know, hometown. Mm-hmm. It's really cool to think about. And I'm, I'm reminded every day and especially being here, I'm like, it's just so insane being, being in South America and like people knowing me and knowing my songs and knowing my lyrics and like being excited to see me. It's just amazing, you know, mm-hmm. all around the world. Like you can have this connection thanks to the internet, yeah. you know, it's kind of such a crazy world we live in. Mm-hmm. And now you're acting, so yeah. How is that for you? How is this new challenge? Do you want to you want to do it again? Yeah, I do. I do. I mean, you know, it's just got to be right. You know, I I swarm was right, and it was truly like the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I mean, it was just, you know, if 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 I if I woke up from a dream, like uh, many years ago. Last year, even if I had woken up from a dream and been like, mom, oh, my God, I had the craziest dream. I was in this show written by Donald Glover. And like, this is what it was about. And like, these were all the people that were working on it. And it was just so cool. That's like the kind of dream I would have and Mm -hmm. be like, damn, I can't believe it was a dream that sucks so bad. It'll never happen. And and I'm just I don't know. It's just really cool to think about. And it was super fun. And it it definitely made me like, oh, This is uh this is cool. So, mm-hmm. you know, I think I'm sure I'll do something else. It just has to be yeah. has to feel right. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Thank you. Of course.